So the other style that's uh, available with the go-to jacket, the other style of neckline, is the bomber style, which is like a Henley neckline. And that's the one I'm going to show you how to do right now. It's super easy. So if you don't, if you're not a fan of hoods or you don't want one, this would make a great uh, finishing of the neckline. So for that, you will need the piece that's uh, the bomber neckline. I just went ahead and pressed it uh, lengthwise, wrong sides together. So this is my right side. And I'm going to first find the center and the market with a pin or a clip. So I found my center back. And now I'm going to take my jacket and on the neckline, you have to mark three eighths of an inch away from the front of the opening. I marked it with a water soluble marker. Same thing on the other side. So this is the front of your, of your jacket. This is the front and we did the marking right here. Three eighths of an inch. That's the point where we will start to put the neck band not from the front like this but from three eighths of an inch away so i'm going to be matching my neck band to the point that i just made the mark that i just made and then i'll be going around and pinning a couple of inches and that's it i'm going to be adding this neckband exactly like i did for the henley if you follow the henley so along you've seen me doing the same steps and this is how we're doing it here so let's start by doing a straight stitch like a basting stitch uh, around just the first couple of inches on both sides this will help you in case you need to reposition the neckband in case you've made any errors it's much easier to unpick uh, a few basting stitches versus a serger stitch that goes all around so this is on one side and go slow. I'm a fast sewer, but this is the step that I actually like to go slow to make sure that one, I have the same seam allowance throughout, and two, nothing shifts, everything matches at the <coughs> raw edge. So this is one corner, one opening. Follow the same seam allowance, my three eighths of an inch is right here and when i flip it i'll check if i like the way it looks and it looks beautiful see the neckline looks beautiful like this so that's why i like to do it on my sewing machine not my serger and now take the other side and do the same thing make sure your neck band is not twisting and we'll be doing the same step on the other side so where I have my marking point, right sides together, I'm placing my uh, neck band and then pinning around a couple of inches. And now I'll be doing the same thing. I'll do a, a basting stitch around. Again, go slow. Make sure you follow this, the same seam allowance throughout.
perfect so once again i'm gonna be flipping it just to see if i like it if i don't it's easy to want we can do it again and it looks pretty good see right here i have a little spot where i missed my seam allowance so i'm gonna redo that curve just because I'm a perfectionist. Perfect. See how easy it is. And now where I missed the curve there, I'm just going to take those couple of stitches off with the seam ripper. It, it's not the whole. I think it's just a few stitches. Super easy. See how important it is to, to, to take this extra time to do the basting stitches here. Perfect. Now I'm happy with how it looks. All right. So now take the, cent the <coughs> lining, the uh, neck line, Mark your shoulder seams, match them together, and mark your center back point. So now you have your center back of the uh, band and the center back of your uh, neckline. Match those two. Right sides together. And now pin around the neckband this time you will be stretching it it's not like the hood so make sure it stretches equally throughout you could also mark quarter points i don't usually do that uh, for this step because i've already uh, sewn my ends and it's just easier for me to just stretch it and make sure that it stretches equally throughout. But you can definitely mark the quarter points like you would do on a regular neck band. Excellent. So now it's all pinned in place. All we have to do is do a straight um, stretch stitch, or you can do this next step on a serger. This time I'm going to be using my sewing machine, and I'll do a triple stretch stitch. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you have the option of you closing the seam allowance or leaving it raw like this or top stitching it down with your sewing machine or your cover stitch. My preferred way because one, I don't sew to sell, two, I make so many of these that and I really don't mind either leaving it the way it is or uh, my preferred method is actually top stitching down with my cover stitch. So go slow, make sure you follow the same seam allowance throughout. You see, you don't want to be unpicking triple stretch stitch. That I can tell you. Uh, be sure to do your first steps like I showed you because uh, seam ripping triple stretch stitch is not fun. I would much, much rather seam rip serger stitches than uh, triple stre stretch stitches. No doubt about that. Make sure you don't stretch the, uh, the hoodie just the neckline. Just the neckband. And 
Kapsel. So, ein bisschen Sand. My neck band is attached. You can give it a press. And you can right now top stitch down, which is what I'm going to do on my cover stitch. That's my, my preferred method and it's easy. You can top stitch with your sewing machine with a triple stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch, like a wider zigzag stitch. Or you can do the bias tape finish that we show you in the tutorial. Either one of the method that you chose works great. Once you've done either one of the method, make sure you, you give your neckline a good steam press. If you use the minky or anything polyester based, make sure you use a pressing cloth because it will melt. And then snap a picture of your of today's progress and post it on the day five thread of the go, ja go to jacket um, sew along album. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow when we'll be sewing together the waistband finishing the side seams and finishing the sleeves, whether with a hem or cuffs. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.